Hello, this is Trey again, and this video will cover how to split tracks and uh, implement fades and crossfades to mix the tracks. So when you split tracks, that means you're essentially cutting it into two different pieces. And you might want to do this if in your podcast you have some material that might work well in different parts of the podcast, but not as a single unit. So what I'm going to do is decide that I want to split my bottom track here where my cursor is. What I'm going to do is go to Edit, Clip Boundaries, and I'm going to say Split. What that does is that puts a little um, line, um, and that's where the track is going to be split. Now, if I decide that I don't want to split that track at any time, all I have to do is move these pieces back together so you can see I can move the track. But if I move it back together and choose the cursor and I click on the split boundary, it goes away. So this can be undone pretty easily. I'm going to re-split that. I'm going to move this. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is arrange my top track where it's playing while the bottom track is not. And notice that when I'm clicking and dragging, Audacity gives me a little uh, helping line here to align my clips together. And it could be as easy as that. I'm just clicking and dragging. Uh, in some cases, though, the audio might sound a little awkward transitioning from track to track. So you want to do what we call crossfades. And that just means that you're fading out of one track at the same time as you're fading in to the other track. So what I'm going to do is actually move my tracks to where they overlap a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is select this track at the bottom. I'm going to say Effect. I'm going to say Fade Out. So notice the bottom's fading out. I'm going to select the top track here, just a little bit of it, because it's not that long. And I'm going to say Effect, Fade In. So at the same time that this track is fading out, this track is fading in, so you get the crossfade. And I could repeat the process for the other track. And that's about it. It's pretty easy. Um, remember that this is the, the tool, the arrow left to right, that lets you click and drag and move the tracks around. So in some cases you might want a long crossfade that lasts several seconds, um, and this is where you get that effect of two speakers overlapping while uh, one speaker is fading and the other is gaining in volume, or you might want to do this with any kind of music, for example, or ambient noise that you've added as well.